Okay, now I've removed my dashboard once more. I gotta do some work on it. You can see all my wiring here up and behind. I've gotta clean some of this up. This is okay, but it needs to be cleaned up in a lot better condition. Uh, basically, what I need to do inside here is clean the wiring up as well as cap these ends off. You can see that's open to the foot box right there, the front nose of the vehicle on the side caps over here. The problem is the hood hinge itself is hinge point is right up in here so I have to find a way to get up make sure I can cap this off and then be able to get in there and unbolt that bolt if I absolutely had to now here's a uh, cardboard template I made to fit up inside here it's a pretty complex shape here but I need to mark all the areas where it'll go in as well as the bolt for the hood hinge so I've taken and I massaged this template to fit in there just perfectly and I've created this one out of sheet metal I've gone ahead and punched a hole I do have it fitting in there, there's one tab that holds it in here and there's three little screws that hold it in along these gaps here there is a cap here, just a knockout cap that I'll be able to snap in here and close this off and then if I have to, I can get to that bolt behind there. Okay, I finally finished uh, sealing this off. I got that panel right there, completely sealed off. And I've gone ahead and done this side too. So the only opening from the firewall through to the passenger box now is this hole right down here for the steering column. So I got a cat, I got a a uh, clamshell type rubber washer that's going to go over that and seal that off so it'll be totally sealed off on the inside. I've gone ahead and painted this area too, cleaned it up, painted it all the way around to get ready for the dashboard. So basically I had everything done here, had everything ready to get the dashboard to go on and I've been working fast and furious on the dashboard have it out here. I got a little carried away. I've got it all complete, all the pieces put together for the glove box and everything. I started shooting it here with uh, the uh, black bed liner, which is really nice. Leaves a nice finish. It's good and strong. So for right now, I'm going to cover this thing good with bed liner front and back. Get a good thick coat on there. And then later on, I'll probably cover it with some kind of leather or something. But this will help smooth it out and give it a nice good appearance for now. So here's the dashboard, riveted and sanded and screwed and everything put together, screwed and glued together. I got a little carried away and started shooting the back of it with the uh, with the bed liner before I showed what the front of it looked like. But this, again, this is just an aluminum plate. I actually came up with a way to hide the screws at the top. I've got another plate in behind here with uh, a little spacer in between each one of these screws and this will go up over the little lip of the sheet metal on the bug. That way. Uh, you won't see any screws that hold this thing in. The whole thing will be in there and it'll just be mounted straight to it and there are no screws. Here's the other pieces. This is the back side of the glove box door. This is one panel for the glove box. It's the glove box floor. These are the vents. This is the passenger side vent. You can see the front side hadn't been painted yet. This is the driver side vent. It's got a couple of switches in it. This is one the side plate on the glove box and some screws that I painted just to keep, keep everything straight and black. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and clean the front of this up. A little bit of a cleanup left to do here and then I'm going to shoot this with a couple of good coats of uh, bed liner. Alright, now I've finished cleaning and painting the, uh, the dashboard itself. And I went ahead and reinstalled all my stuff in there. See the vents on the end. Everything on the back here. The gauge pods, the gauges, the air conditioning control, the hazard switch. So getting ready to put this in the bug and see what she looks like.